There's another type of change, surprise. And some of you look at that and go, hmm, that looks like a, a colleague I work with. <laughs> Nason Taleb in his book, the, the Black Swan, talks about surprise. And he contends that you're going to get surprised. That no matter how much work you put into thinking about change and figuring out um, your seascape or landscape, that we can never get the framework right all the time. He uses as an example the Thanksgiving turkey. The Thanksgiving turkey lives this life in the barnyard. Farmer comes in, feeds them, gives them water, patrols around, gets fed again. Life is supreme. And the turkey has some pretty good metrics. Every day, for about a year and a half, every day, turkey gets up, sun comes up, check. Turkey gets up, Food's there, check. Farmer's there, check. Water's there, check. Great metrics. Day before Thanksgiving, poof, snatched up by the farmer, head cut off. Whoa! Whoa, what a surprise. My, the turkey's framework was all wrong. He didn't know what was going on in the farmer's head. He had no way of knowing what was going on in the farmer's head. But that's a hell of a surprise, is it not? You can get surprised. I was surprised on 9-11 when I was in the building. I was surprised by the Arab awakening. You can get surprised, and then how do you respond to that surprise? How do you prepare for surprise? How do you prepare for change? Well, that gets me to the diversity piece. Next slide. So when I was a little girl, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> When I was a little girl, Star Trek came out. And um, it was one of the TV shows my mother let us stay up late to watch. She loved the science of it all. Um, and for me, Ahura was my gal. Because there was nobody else on TV who was doing what Ahura did. And I know it's easy for us to look back, but this was amazing. Look, Ahura had a Bluetooth in 1967. <laughs> But Ahura, to me, was part of the team. She was being treated as an equal. And you think about what was going on in my country in the 60s, that's pretty important. Now, luckily for me, Martin Luther King and his family watched that TV show. In 1967, he happens to run into Nichelle Nichols, and she's thinking about quitting the show after the first season. And he goes, oh my goodness, no, you can't quit. And she goes, well, why? I want to go back into musicals and Broadway. He goes, no, no. On that show, you're treated as an equal member. And that is the most important message that you are providing. You're not being treated as a black member. You're being treated as an equal member. And that is a lot about the promise of diversity. <laughs> 